Hello, Ukulele on the ground. We are here with Sam from Mahalo Ukulele. So Hi, Sam. Sam. Jung? Yeah. Jung Zong? Jung, yeah. yeah. Jung, yeah. I know. It's tough. Chinese uh, names are tough <laughs> to say, guys. Cut me some slack. <laughs> so, All we right. always try to uh, make an English name. <laughs> yes. So, for easier for Westerners. E but we still keep our family well, what's name. Your, what's yeah. your Chinese uh, first name? Uh, si Wen, Zhang Si Wen. Yeah, I would have yeah. never said that. <laughs> I would have never gotten that. So I'll go with Sam. Yeah, just to, just to remember Sam. Sam, Sam yeah. All right. So Mahalo Ukulele is uh, what does Mahalo have in store for 2015? For uh, 2015, I think the biggest change from uh, Mahalo will be that our product lines will be totally renewed. And uh, our new factory in Indonesia yeah. is progressing yeah. very well. Yeah. So, you mentioned that last year, yeah. Yes. Was the Indonesia pattern. And last year, we showed you the samples from that, that are made uh, from the new factory in Indonesia. And right now, the production is even much better than the samples you saw. And we are already uh, ready to supply the market in large quantities. And for the products right now we have from the new factories, we have Kahiko series that is uh, representing the traditional Hawaii look. Okay. And we also have the Rainbow series. Uh, the Rainbow series will be replacing the, the currently most famous Mahalo U30s. Yeah. And uh, we have the Java series. Mm. And right now for, we already start to supply uh, new ukulele to some markets and the uh, feedback oh, is great. very good great, great. and we will start to supply the US market in March oh, so awesome. yeah can't wait, can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys got new here yeah so this is the Kahiko series Kahiko, okay. yeah and we also have the Kahiko series we have the brown color uh, butterscotch and blue look at the finish nice. oh so this is a more traditional route for yes. Mahalo because yeah. Uh, yeah. Mahalo is notorious for you know getting the the brighter colors and nice painted ukulele. Yes. So this is a more traditional yes. approach. It's, to so ukulele. it's matte finish, mm. and uh, personally I like it very much. Oh, let's and hear how I, it sounds. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And this is, uh, we have the Rainbow Series. Okay. The Rainbow Series is, there, uh, we have upgraded so the design, so they are with uh, more vibrant colors and uh, the strings are upgraded to acrylic strings. Oh. And most important, the total, uh, the craftsmanship, then the working process have been changed. So the sound is much better than the current U30s. So, so uh, the Rainbow Series, are they made in China or Indonesia? In Indonesia, oh, yeah. So they're replacing the current, the biggest sellers of uh, Mahalo made in China. Mm -hmm. So in 2015, uh, we will start to supply uh, the Rainbow Series in big quantities. Oh, yeah, yeah. good. All right, man. So uh, where can they find Mahalo ukuleles right now? Uh, right now, for the U.S. market, uh, you can... Uh, uh, go to our uh, distributor's website, David and Hanser. They sell through a lot of dealers throughout the United States. And uh, if you go to our website, uh, mahalo-ukulele.com, and then you will find dealers from around the world. We have uh, dealers around the world for more than 60 countries. I see. Uh, and let's, let's talk uh, how much it costs. So what, are, what are the costs for the new uh, Kahiko models and the Rainbow models? So for Kahiko series, the retail price is uh, less than $40. Oh, wow. Yeah, and the Rainbow series is under $50. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, that's, so, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Very affordable. Yes, very affordable and inexpensive for everybody to, uh, to try. To enjoy. Yeah. yeah. So um, the ukulele, uh, some people called it a fad when it first started out, this latest boom. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's been almost a decade now since um, you know, the latest boom started and it's still here, right? Yes. So it's, it's yes. stuck around for a long time. Uh, why do you think you know, it's persevered this long this time around? I think just uh, it shoots out uh, the culture and the personality of uh, this time very uh, very well uh, for people at this day uh, we like to enjoy lives yeah so and uh, for you yeah, yeah so for ukuleles it's just uh, casual and yeah. it brings a lot of funds to people 
and that is most important. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. It always definitely. makes people <laughs> smile and happy. And uh, what and, role does Mahalo play in uh, in all of that? And for Mahalo, I think uh, we are very proud that we are part of the ukulele boom. In fact, uh, before Mahalo, we have a very expensive traditional ukulele that's made in Hawaii uh -huh. and uh, in the United States. Right. Uh, they cost uh, very; they are very expensive, yeah. and they they're still popular nowadays. And uh, after we start to produce the ukuleles, we try to produce ukuleles that are fat, uh, acceptable and affordable to right. everyone. So everybody can have them. Yeah, yeah. so uh, before that, nobody made a colored ukuleles, yeah. but we make uh, colored ukuleles with a, more than 10 choices. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, uh, I have a request. You I think mint green. Yeah. <laughs> mint green color for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love mint green. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, after we start to introduce the colored ukuleles, yeah. uh, our sales uh, have been increased uh, awesome. a lot, so I think that Mahato is also uh, part of the driven force to yeah. make uh, ukulele so popular. Yeah, nowadays. because it, it makes it easier for people to have one to play one yeah. because yeah. of the um, you know the uh, playability and the, the reason because it's affordable. You know. Yes, and especially in many uh, countries right now at schools, right. they offer lessons Little, for music, yeah. and the easiest for the kids to play. One of the easiest is just the ukulele. Right. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sam. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Aldrin. So please check them out, guys. Mahalo ukulele. This is Aldrin Guerrero for ukuleleonthegram.com. Aloha.